Hey y'all, um, we're back. Hi. So we realized we were talking about painting rocks, that we were talking about the design of it, sketching it out, painting it, and we kind of forgot about another aspect of the rock. Once you design your rock, what are you gonna do with it? Where is it gonna go? So I wanna show you some options. And one of them is you could go on a walk and you could leave some of your rocks around for people to find. Like, look here, here's the little Totoro. And then over here, we have the dog and the skull. And I wanted to remind you guys when you're designing these that you can do one side of it and then you could go ahead and do the other side to really make it a 3D object. I don't know if I talked about that or if we kind of like touched on it enough last time, but I wanted to remind that kind of fact for you guys and tell you about some stuff that she has been doing. So I'm going to pull this out so you can look at it. Here's the first so one. What I did is I got this old Pop-Tarts box. I taped together the sides so that there wouldn't be any holes or anything. And then I filled it with dirt from our garden, fresh soil. And then I put this little end of a branch in there, jammed it in the dirt so that it would look almost like a tree. And then these leaves are supposed to be the pillow of this little pet rock. And then Can there's- Can you come up there? Oopsies. Yeah. There he is. And then there's this little bird friend. Doo, doo, doo. And as you can hear, there's lots of birds around here. Also, um, here's another one. This one actually has a name. It's one of my favorites. His name is McNewtonworth, as you can see on this granola bar box. And so I was just walking around the yard, picking up stuff and jamming it in the box. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I think it looks great. What about this one, Gia? So this one I made for a friend of mine. And so I just found this old tin lying around with the lid. So, Look and then I put him in there with a few leaves and this little cat guy. I don't know if you can see him, but this one doesn't have a name because they're just going to let my friends name him. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a nice gift. So I think that's a good reminder that you could give your rock to somebody as a special gift. You could also leave it as a surprise for someone to find on your walk. You could also think about your rock and, you know, do both sides of it. You could also, on one side of the rock, have your image and on the back side or underneath, you could write a little message or you could draw a little image. You could put a heart or a cross or a smiley face, just something to make somebody's day. And then as somebody is taking one of their walks, because that's what a lot of people are doing right now. Um, maybe they might find a little special treat. Could be a nice surprise. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. So you could use these beautiful rocks that you're painting to make someone's day a little bit more special. I think that would be kind of a fun thing. So we hope you do that. Take care. But before we end the video, make sure to uh, subscribe and Press that like button. Nice. And turn on the notification bell. That's perfect.